I think it was partly because it was such an intimate piece. Um, also because of the storyline. It's about a, a young man who's blind and therefore it's enormously about the lack of trust that he uh, had grown up with and therefore that um, developing a trust with new people. Uh, so I think the story itself um, what it was about really sort of resonated with people but I also think that because of its gentle quality um, which was almost reminiscent of Antonioni or, or a sort of European films there was something emotional about the look of the film uh, and when I say that I mean in that European way that it sort of did trigger emotions rather than cerebral things even though there was a lot to think about and so I just think it had a very fine emotional quality to it that people sort of went, oh, I don't think I've felt this in an Australian film before. We, we were very accustomed to seeing beautiful landscapes, um, you know, in the Australian outback and um, or fairly gritty pieces. There was some um, really gritty stuff being done as well. But I really think it, um, it just touched people very deeply. And, uh, and therefore, I think it's so important that it's that it's looked after, and that a lot of the well, you know, the films of, of that time that are no longer digi aren't digitized are looked after because there are generations who haven't seen that work. But also the performances, I do feel like Hugo, Russell, Genevieve gave such extraordinary performances. They were already terrific actors. Everyone knew them as wonderful theatre actors and film actors, but it really was a watershed time for them, and it was very much people being able to see that these actors could do remarkable, remarkable work when working together very closely and, and being able to communicate on a set and work out what was really going on and have the time to do that. And uh, the rewards are enormous. It's beautiful.